What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 56. You know what? You know on Steve Says, some people will hate, but most can relate. And you can see there in the little symbols there what we have to say to those people who are going to hate. But we're bringing the fire every second of every second, every week here on Steve Says. Today, it's all about what you need to propel yourself forward towards your goals to success and victory. It's basically, do you have this power in your arsenal? Are you using this in your arsenal to get to where you need to be? Are you missing this powerful tool in your arsenal? And then once you are acquiring this, are you destroying it when you get it and not taking full advantage of it? Steve Says is a live show on how to have a a no-excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles that are preventing success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. So you know it's all about becoming a better version of yourself every day, trusting the process, and of course making no excuses. You know the invasion is coming, and we must defeat the enemy, and you're going to need today's skill, if you want to call it, if you're going to be doing that, if you're going to be getting being successful and victorious, and if you're going to be defeating the enemy. If you have any questions, comments, put them down here below. I'll have you up on the second screen. Let's talk about it. We're going to get rolling pretty much right away. Give you a second to get in the room while I take a sip of my Herbalife drink and pull you up on the second screen. Make sure we have you up and rolling live. There we are. So let's do this. Let's do this. Steve says... Episode number 56. So what are we talking about? What is that key tool you need in your arsenal that you probably don't take advantage of? And and when it comes along, you don't even recognize it. And you actually take it for granted probably a lot of times. And we're going to make sure starting today that that doesn't happen. That shit cannot happen. We can't let that happen. What we're looking for today. All right, we'll play our game. You know, we play our word game. I'll give you a couple of hints, some clues. This kind of builds off the last couple of weeks. You know, we're always building up. That's a, that's a clue to what the word is we're looking for. We're always building up each week. A few weeks ago, we talked about get, being pressured and pushed and going to your potential, but it's really the pressure and the push that we're talking about. So today, what we're talking about, this, this key element you need in order to thrive and to succeed This is basically a force, an energy driving you, a propulsion. If you could try to figure out what we're talking about here. Thrusting, a drive. It's it's a force of a speed, of force or speed of movement. Force or speed of movement. What are we talking about here? It's basically the impetus of gained by a moving object or the driving force gained by the development of a course of events. The force of energy in which a body moves, and not even a physical body, but definitely a physical body also, but any body moves. The force that makes something happen or happen more quickly, if you could figure out what we're talking about. We're not going to have too much time. You got about five seconds to figure that out, what we're talking about. It's thrusting, it's driving, it's propulsion, it's force, it's energy. Once I'm done taking this sip, I know you have a couple seconds of delay, I'm going to tell you what it is. If someone could tell me right off the bat, you'll get a t-shirt. I will send it out to you. You got like five seconds. You'll get a a, a free t-shirt wherever you are in the world. I will send you that t-shirt if you can get the word we're looking for by the time I'm done taking my sip of my herbal life. Because we need to keep rolling. Last chance. Last chance. We're talking about this, this word. This attribute that you need that we're looking for is an energy. It's a driving force. It's a propulsion. A thrust. That you need to succeed, to get your goals, to to, to victory, to defeat the freaking enemy. It's a force or speed of movement. Come on, this is this is where I'm giving you way too many hints here. And it's it's basically force or energy which is moving a body or a person or an object. But we need to move on. You got five, four, three, two, one, and no one got that. We are talking about what you need is freaking momentum. You need freaking momentum in everything you're doing. Everywhere in life, you need momentum. You're looking for success. You're looking for victory. You're looking to, to achieve your goals wherever you're talking about. When you're talking, you're talking about at work, at school, in athletics, in weight loss, in the gym, with your fitness, your nutrition, your dieting, whatever you're talking about, you need freaking momentum. So those were all the technical definitions of, of momentum, right? That, you know, the force that makes something happen or happen more quickly. 
and the impetus or the force or energy which makes a body move. But you know we always need the Steve Says Peak Freak version of what it means. So momentum to me, to, in, in the Steve Says world, in the Peak Freak world, momentum is just getting the ball rolling. Getting that freaking rock rolling. Doing whatever it takes to get the, the, the ball rolling. To get it started and get it moving. And then once it's moving, to keep that ball moving. To keep the ball rolling and moving forward. To keep that rock rolling and moving forward till it builds and grows into this huge fucking boulder. And keep it moving forward at all costs until it completely crushes your goals and stomps a fucking mud hole in your enemies. You Think of, think of like a riding a bike. When, when you're riding a bike. I've been getting some... Additional exercise in addition to the to the gym that outdoors is nicer outside riding a bike. When you're riding a bike, you need speed, you need momentum to ride a bike. The faster you go, the easier it is to ride a bike. If you try to go slow, what happens? You start wobbling and you start wobbling and you're gonna fall over and you're gonna stop. Think about riding a bike up a hill. And and, and the steeper the hill, the more momentum you need to get up that motherfucker, right? So and if you stop on the middle of a hill and you're riding a bike up the hill, you're basically just screwed. You are screwed. You need that momentum to build it up and you need to keep rolling or you're going to be screwed. It's going to be, think about having to start again in the middle of a steep hill, trying to get the bike started again compared to just rolling from the bottom. So even, even a, a huge steep hill, you need momentum. And the bigger the hill, the more momentum you need for it. So momentum is the key. Momentum is what you need. Look at, look at, at, at a boxing match, a, a fight. You, a fighter could be losing and he lands a good punch. He's like, all right, now I'm onto something. He lands a good, a, a good punch. He notices a little thing going on, uh, uh, on with the enemy. Even though he's losing, he's getting smashed up a little bit. He's got a bloody nose. His face is all swollen. He's getting beaten, but he's noticing little things here and there. And even though these are small little losses that he's getting throughout this battle, this is all leading towards his momentum. Because now all of a sudden he's seeing something. Uh, the, his opponent's dropping his right hand when he throws his, his jab. So what's he doing? He's slipping and he's countering and bam, and he lands. He's like, all right, I'm onto something here. And he's building confidence. So that momentum is starting to build the confidence and he's starting to see things and having a better vision and a clearer vision, a clarity of vision and and a clearer path to his success towards victory. And he just rolls off of that one landed punch or even that one thing that he saw, even though he got punched in the face, that one thing he saw that led to the next move, to the next move, to the next move. Next thing you know, he's this boulder fucking rolling and he's going to end up you know leading towards victory rolling off of that freaking momentum it's the same in, in almost all sports like a basketball game look at look at a basketball game a team could be down by 10 15 points you get a, you get they, they get a quick basket and an inbound pass they steal it they get another quick basket just two baskets back to back next thing you know they're on like an 18 to 0 run and it's all based off momentum it's momentum is what you freaking need there's there's a quote actually the, a motivational speaker, author, he actually wrote the book, The No Excuses Mindset, which is all about a life of purpose and passion and clarity. And he said, it, it takes a leader to create the momentum. It takes a vision to direct the momentum. It takes massive action to build on the momentum. And it takes self-discipline to sustain the momentum. Momentum is the bridge between a vision and the results. And that's the only way to get success and to reach goals, and especially the, the bigger and the harder and the further and the more impossible the goals, the more freaking momentum you need to have. Momentum is the bridge between a vision and its results. So once you lose momentum and, or you, you stop setting goals and you stop striving towards these goals, you're basically fucking done. You're done. You're just done. Without a definiteness of purpose, without moving forward, without momentum, you're either standing still or you're moving freaking backwards. And momentum, like everything else, can go either way. We know that. Everything can go either way. It can go either a positive route or the negative route. Don't be one of those negative motherfuckers. Don't be one of them. The negative people will attract negative momentum. We know that. They attract negative everything. And, and once that shit starts spiraling out of control, they're lost. And sometimes they're so fucking deep in it, the momentum will take them so deep that it's over. It's over. Think about it. You, uh, a small, you know, making some bad choices in life. And next thing you know, you're in prison for life. Talk about momentum spiraling out of control and it's freaking over. Positive thinkers, though, momentum is built off of every little victory, every tiny little victory. Even, even every little, every failure is even a lesson to that positive thinker when it comes to momentum. Because like, like that boxer, he was getting smashed up for a couple rounds. But as he's doing it, he's getting knowledge. He's getting, he's learning. He's, he's catching, he's catching his opponent's movements. And 
every even failure is a lesson that is going to breed knowledge that leads to the momentum. And, and the momentum only builds greater and greater momentum. You, momentum just builds more momentum and it just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. I don't even care, give a fuck if it's uphill. You can create momentum uphill. Look at the bike. Look at the bike riding up the hill. It doesn't have to just be downhill. You can be in an uphill fucking battle and still create momentum and still attack. And basically, momentum, you, you ride that wave, it just keeps building and building. It gets greater and greater until you just can't be fucking stopped. You can't be stopped. Look at water. Look at water. Sit still, right? And then look at when there's like a flood or, or whatever, a storm or something. And the water comes rushing in, rushing forward. And, and, and that harmless little stagnant water that was just sitting still is now uprooting massive trees that have been sitting there for freaking decades. Or just flinging cars down the road like the little freaking matchbox cars or even, even destroying homes. And that's all just from the momentum of the water, which was just sitting still and was harmless. Momentum needs to, to, to be recharged and it needs to be refilled. But most important, in order to get momentum, you need to fucking start. You can't have momentum without starting. That water had to get moving before it could start trashing freaking trees and uprooting trees. So where does momentum start? Well, first... Before, obviously, you need to get off your fucking ass and start moving forward. That's where it starts. But really, it's oh, we know it's always got to start up in your head. Everything starts in your freaking head. So that's where it starts, in your mind, when you're setting your goals. And, 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 even, and every little tiny task that you do, even simple daily tasks, can all be, you know, can be all it takes to get momentum started in your life and towards your, towards your goals and towards success and towards freaking victory. Just those small little simple daily tasks. Can, it can be all it takes. So small daily habits can, can be what it takes to get that rock to start rumbling up that freaking mountain towards the enemy. And you could start in small increments. You could start, you could just get rolling like bam. Momentum sometimes could just come quick. You could just be on fucking fire right away, like within seconds. Or if it needs to be, it could be still in small increments. That big rock, it might just roll an inch. The next day, another inch, another inch, another inch. But next thing you know, brah, it's fucking rolling and steamrolling towards success and towards victory and towards your goals. And you need to stay, when you have that momentum, you need to stay focused and on track to do, you know, whatever it takes to get that ball rolling and then stay focused and on track to keep it rolling no matter what. Because... As fast as momentum can go in one direction, it can come back in the other Think of a swing. Think of a swing in a playground. As higher and faster it goes one way, it's going to come whipping back the other way. So we don't want that to happen with our momentum. You need The harder you push in one direction, there is a chance it could push back equally in the opposite direction. So that shit needs to be maintained in a forward path, storming towards the freaking enemy, storming towards your goals, storming towards success, storming towards your victory, and it needs to be maintained. How's it going to be maintained? It's going to be maintained by setting daily, sometimes even more than daily. We're talking like hourly hourly and daily and weekly and monthly and quarterly and yearly and and next year and the next five years, 10 years and lifelong goals by setting goals and having tasks and checklists is what's going to get there is build fucking momentum in your life towards that success and towards that victory. And it's just rolling off of those, that momentum. Sometimes set ridiculous goals, make that mountain fucking huge that you need to get up. Be unrealistic sometimes. Because you know what it's going to do? It's going to make you push that much harder and put that much more pressure on yourself that it's going to create the momentum that you need and you'll end up doing it and you'll end up doing shit you never even thought was possible just by creating that momentum because that momentum is unfucking stoppable once it gets rolling. But you need to have, the momentum needs to have laser beam focus. You cannot have momentum in two different directions or at least not a fully focused, powerful momentum in two different directions. It's just impossible. They'll only end up opposing each other or or taking away from each other or taking energy away from each other it's all about singularity of focus and attention on one path one goal one fucking mission one enemy whatever it is and then every time you get to that goal and you get that victory guess what every victory every goal is just a starting point to your next goal and to your next victory that's always the way it goes that's the way momentum goes you cannot stop you cannot stop in life it's either you know, progress or failure, and you need to maintain constant, forward, moving momentum. You cannot stop after a little success. You can't get a, a, a small victory or even a large victory. Even a major freaking victory, a major milestone, you cannot stop. You cannot stop. No matter how good you think you're doing, there is always more to be done. Always more that could be done. 
always more than you think you're doing. And there's and, and you, you, you the second you stop, you're not starting from zero. You need to get keep the momentum rolling. Just keep rolling, thundering, freaking forward. You cannot stop no matter how good you think you're doing because it's going to cause you to be complacent. It's going to cause you to stay still. It's going to cause you to maintain. It's going to cause you just to then start slipping up and going backwards because you think you already won. There is no ultimate victory because it just goes on forever and ever. Maintenance is fucking death. Move forward with momentum or freaking die. That's the way it goes. Or, you know, or get, get left behind by the rottenness that's chasing you. The world is out there chasing you. So th- this, this momentum is even, it, it's safety. It's safety. Momentum will keep you safe. The world is out to get you. The enemy is out to get you. Shit, you probably got friends and family out to freaking get you. And you know what's going to keep you away from them? Your motherfucking momentum is going to keep you away from them. Because momentum is dominance. It's dominance. It's safety, but it's dominance. It's, it's distancing, distancing you from those nasty ass people that are, are the enemies that are chasing you. They cannot keep up with your forward attack. They just can't keep up with you because your momentum just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. Because after you get one victory, you're not stopping. That's not good enough. It's never good enough. You should never fucking settle because the best is always yet to come. The best is always out out, far in front of you. And even though it looks like that it's so far out of reach, guess what? You're going to get there with that momentum. And once you get there, you're going to be like, that shit wasn't even that hard. Now you can reach out even further and onto the next thing. And now momentum is going to take you out to that next goal. Because, you know, you, you you need to keep... That, that forward attack going on because the, the enemy is behind you. They're coming after you. They are after you. The enemy is coming for you. They, they will try to chase you and with enough momentum, you don't even have to turn around or even blink your fucking eyes at the enemy and even spend any time on the enemy if you have enough forward momentum because with enough momentum, the force will be so freaking powerful in a forward thrust that, that it's going to leave your enemies so far behind and your previous goals and maybe even the old version of yourself, whatever that enemy is to you, Whatever the invasion is to you, it's going to be left so far behind that it's going to be burnt out trying to match up with match with your pace because you just keep rolling. You don't stop. You don't stop. You don't give in. No, it's never good enough. You never could are good enough. There is always more to do. Always more you can accomplish. Always more you can give back. Always keep rolling freaking forward. And the enemy is going to get burnt out trying to match your pace. It, the enemy can't keep up with your pace. Because you are a peak freak fucking warrior. The enemy can't keep up with you. They say fatigue makes a coward of us all. And and your momentum will break down the enemy. Your momentum will break down the enemy. And and, and they can't keep up. They cannot keep up. You're going to be either leaving them, you know, behind you. Devoured by obscurity. Or just completely, totally annihilated. Just by the, the sheer force of the momentum that you created. That just is around you like a fucking unstoppable force field. Momentum is power. No success in any area of life will occur with, without freaking momentum. It's just not going to happen. It's a prerequisite for victory. And momentum, momentum is such a powerful freaking force. And you need to ride that motherfucking wave once you catch it. And just like the pit bull on my chest and our peak freak logo pit bull, we latch on to something and we don't let go. So when you get that momentum, latch on to that shit, ride the freaking wave... Forever. This goal, we're talking forever. There is no finish line. Ever. There's no finish line. Death is not the finish line because we're going on to bigger and better things even after that shit. Ride the wave of the momentum. Don't stop for anything. Don't let anything stop your momentum. It may slow down at times. Do not let it stop. It will not stop. Maintenance is death. It's backwards. It's failure. And the enemy will catch up and freaking bite you in the ass. But we're going to just keep storming forward. Ride that wave, latching our freaking pit bull jaws onto it and not letting go of that momentum for anything straight to the top of that fucking mountain because the man did not fall on top of the mountain. He freaking got there with some momentum. Any questions, comments, put them down there in the bottom. I will talk to you later. No excuses.